Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to check open ports on Windows. Sometimes you may want to install software on your computer and you get a message that a particular port is already in use. Or you may just want to find out which port is in use or which port is free on your computer. We will be using the NetStart in this tutorial. With NetStart, we can display the protocol statistics for current TCP, IP or UDP network connections on our computer. We will be using NetStart for this purpose. There are some parameters we can use in this process. We can run it as an administrator or a user on our computer. However, running it as an administrator offers the desired results. NetStat is an abbreviation and it stands for Network Statistics. There are some parameters we can use with NetStat, such as hyphen A, this will display all connections and listening ports. Half an N will display the only process ID that is associated with each connection. Half an O will display the addresses and port numbers in numerical ways. Half an B will display the executable involved in creating each connection. And there are some other parameters. We will see them in a minute. For example, the command net start space hyphen a n o or net start space hyphen a hyphen n hyphen o will show some options. Net start space hyphen a b will also show us some connections. So we can use any of the following commands to view protocol, local address foreign address, state PID for process and connection. To use any of these commands, now let's open CMD, that is the command prompt, and enter the next star command. To open our command prompt, that is the CMD, type in here, CMD, and run as administrator. Now with the command prompt open, type in net start space hyphen a n o and hit enter. Great. Let's look at it from the top. Now it shows all the active connections on my machine. Yours might be slightly different depending on the number of applications that are currently running on your computer i have many applications running here it shows a protocol which is a tcp local address foreign address state that is the listening port and a pid so we can see the listening and established ports The state here, we can see the listening and the established states. Okay. Now let's run another command. Net start space hyphen a hyphen n hyphen o. Hit enter. Great. Now with this next start command, it shows here displays protocol statistics and current TCP IP network connection. There are different next start commands here that we can use. You can use next start space hyphen A or next start space hyphen B and so on. And their meanings are explained here. And to Stop any process, you can press 
control plus C. We can run the command individually or combine some letters. For example, let's run the half n command. To do that, we say net start space half n hit enter exactly. Yes, the net start space half n command shows all the active connections protocol, TCP, local address, foreign address, state as established connections. We can also try another command here. Let's try the hyphen y command. Net start, net start, space, hyphen y. Hit enter. Exactly. It shows active connections, protocol, local address, foreign address, state, template. These are all internet connections and here it shows my machine number which is a part of the foreign address and it shows the established state. It keeps hopping. If yours is hopping, you may have to watch it and if you want to stop it, you press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. And I'm going to stop it now. Ctrl plus C. Exactly, I have stopped it. Another net start command I can run is net start space hyphen AB. Hit enter. Great. It shows me all the applications that are currently running on my machine. And to stop it, Ctrl plus C. Once again, with the net start space half an a half an n half an o you can see all possible net start commands that you can run on your computer i hope this video will help you in checking which port is in use or available on your computer thank you for watching see you in my next video bye for now